Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before... Or it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Three easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> you are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yep. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it? scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Price of sakes. I should be due any time. Now, let's keep this quiet and clear. But he needs to die. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Stop the wagon! I said... Stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't... I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Be a lot quicker if someone helped me. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Most 
started wagon in goddamn history! How is that a no? Buster, come on! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? But, but tell me what you heard. I don't. Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back.
bit. Arthur, with me. And if you dump Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. Well, that's good of you. Come on, Mister. Take the load off. The fire's real warm. I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I tell you. Uh, here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. 
I don't know the feeling. Oh. I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see that face as clear as yesterday. I do. I might rest through the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Get your fucking hands up!